Good morning. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing good. Welcome aboard the Cosmic Chariot. I'm going to be your tour over here today. My name is Tyler. How are you guys doing? Alright, so today we're going to be doing your daily energy reading. Not all messages will resonate, but take or resonate and leave the rest behind. For that being said, if you do find that you're resonating with any of these messages, you're welcome to hit that like button or hit that subscribe button to let me know that you're resonating and enjoying my content and that you want to see more. Alright, so... Let's start off with fire signs, fire signs, or fire element. Alright, so what's the energy looking like today for fire signs? What's the energy looking like today for fire signs? Okay, 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 okay. Alright, so for the overall energy, you got the Queen of Pentacles. You have the Four of Pentacles, both in reverse, and the Five of Wands. So with the Five of Wands being here, that tells me that you could be very argumentative today. There could be a lot of drama around you, possibly around finances. There could be, you know, just a lot of, you know, you know, maybe you're just like super busy today and you're just like, so busy that you just can't control anything that's going on and you're not really wanting to involve yourself in drama so you're trying to stay out of it you may be you know spending your money a little bit maybe you're doing a lot of shopping and that could be why you know there's all these you know commotions like maybe you're doing too much spending and someone's yelling at you for that because you should be saving rather than spending um, but either way uh, you could just be doing a little shopping and you know you're all over the place and trying to get everything done and stuff like that you do have the queen of pentacles here so maybe you know if you're shopping and you know maybe that helps you feel better about yourself you know just you're buying something to make you feel better but deep down you know that it's not really going to make you feel better because you need to go within and really heal you know that part of you you can go within your heart and heal all right with the queen of Pen pentacles being in reverse that tells me that you're not really wanting to nurture anything or you're having a hard time nurturing yourself or focusing on yourself so you may tend to overindulge in other things because your attention is over there because you feel like um that's going to bring you happiness when in reality what's going to bring you happiness is by focusing on yourself and doing what's best for you and you know going within and healing your heart and yeah but if you are upset about something you may be spending money because you want things to happen a certain way for you right or you just not you wanted something to happen you didn't like the outcome so you're spending to not feel the pain if that makes sense um you do have the wheel of fortune here so that tells me that Today's going to be a really good day for you. You may be feeling a bit foolish if there was any player energy. Maybe someone cheated on you and that could be what all this drama is about. So you're going out of your way to, you know, look, you know, sexy or whatever for someone else or for this person because, you know, they made you look like a fool and, you know, whatever it may be. Maybe you want to show this person that, hey, I don't need you. Um, I can look sexy without you or you know whatever it may be um but you're tr really trying to find your peace because you're not wanting to stress out about this situation you want this person to realize what they lost all right and that's why you're spending you know looking like you are you know like you know trying to look sexy and stuff like that you know trying to show this person that hey i don't need you i can find someone else that is way better than you and stuff like that all right but either way you could be trying to make this person jealous and that could be what the arguing arguing is about uh, you have the wheel of fortune here so that you could be dealing with any of the fixed signs the taurus leo aquarius and scorpio you also have virgo energy here um but uh yeah so fire signs that's going to be your daily energy reading I hope you guys enjoyed let's move on to water signs water signs what do we got for water signs what's the energy looking like for water signs today 
What's the energy looking like for water signs today? What is the energy looking like for water signs today? Water signs, water signs, water signs. What is the energy looking like for water signs? What is the energy looking like for water signs? Okay, 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 okay. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, so... Water signs. You have the two of... Two of wands here in reverse. You also have the death card. And the seven of pentacles. So... I see you... Reevaluating something, you're you're really thinking about something, and you're asking yourself if you really want to invest into the situation anymore. Um, maybe you're wanting something to change. Maybe you're not liking how things are turning out for you. And today you're just like, should I change? Should I invest into the situation further? Is it working out for me? Like you're really asking yourself, is this the right direction for me to go in, or should I go into a different direction? It doesn't seem like you're really waiting on an answer. It does seem like you're kind of, you know, moving forward with your life and making the proper changes in order to really, you know, do what's best for you. This could also be that, you know, maybe someone's looking at the situation and they're really reminiscing on it and they're just like, damn, you know, we, we worked so hard on this, you know, connection together and then all of a sudden, you know, they just cut me out like that, like, like I didn't even matter. So you're just really feeling a bit emotional today. Maybe you're focusing on your finances and you know not really trying to focus on this emotional situation. You're just doing what's best for you. All right. You do have the Knight of Pentacles here. So that tells me that you could be feeling a bit unstable. Maybe your finances are unstable. You have the Knight of Cups here as well. So that tells me that you're not really wanting to open yourself up to love. And with the Seven of Cups being here, that tells me that you have a lot of options in front of you. And that could be why you're reviewing um, what you've been doing in the past. Because you have a lot of options and you're not wanting to just accept any offer. You're really, you know, looking at all your options and seeing what, you know, it is in front of you, right? And you're not, you may be rejecting someone, possibly a work situation or some, an earth sign or a, a water sign someone that wants to give you love but maybe you feel like that they don't really have the love that you truly desire maybe you are wanting someone that is stable but also has a very stable job possibly maybe older than you this like maybe this person is younger than you because you know it is a knight but you know with the knights it's like basically like the same age or just a little bit younger but, but you also rejected this person so maybe you want someone that is older than you uh younger than you whatever it may be you rejected this person for a reason um maybe they just weren't stable enough for you maybe you weren't stable enough for them and you were just like you know what i'm gonna have to pass on that situation because i'm not ready to commit to someone and have you know so, so much to offer this person you know someone has like so much to offer me like I don't really have enough to offer this person so I'm not going to go towards that person right but it does seem like you have a lot of options today on um, water signs so you could be really looking at your options asking yourself if what you want to invest in what you want to do in order to really move forward and yeah so that being said I see you really focusing on change today, really understanding what you should be doing and what you shouldn't be doing, and moving towards things that are going to be beneficial for you. But like I said, you may be rejecting a few offers, someone may be rejecting you, it could be anything really. But uh, yeah, either way, let's, uh, let's move on to the earth energy, earth signs. What do we got for earth signs today? What's the daily energy looking like for earth signs? Earth signs, earth signs, earth signs. What do we got for earth signs? What is the daily energy for earth signs? 
What is the daily energy for earth signs? What is the daily energy for earth signs? Alright, so here we go. Here we go. Alright. So, we got the world card in the upright. So you could be dealing with some sort of cycle, possibly another fixed sign. Maybe you feel like you have a very strong connection with someone, uh, possibly a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. But it does seem like you're kind of rejecting an offer of love today. Or maybe someone didn't approach you in the right way, or maybe you're just tired of repeating a cycle because they just don't, you know, they don't give back, you know. You can put your all into this situation and they just don't put enough effort into the situation to really commit to them, right? And you're just like, why? you're asking yourself, why do I put up with this? You're looking at yourself in the mirror, you're asking yourself, why do I put up the, why do I put up with this? What am I supposed to do? How do I break this cycle? Because obviously this person's just not getting that I don't, that I'm not interested in them, right? They don't have what I want, and you're just like, you're rejecting them, right? They're, they could also be, you know, not approaching you the right way, or maybe it's just not your normal type, so that may be why you're rejecting them, but it is someone that you either are close with, or you have a very strong connection to, because the world card wouldn't be here if you didn't have a strong connection with them. Um, but maybe you just don't feel it. Maybe you don't recognize that, hey, I have a strong connection with this person. Maybe I should, you know, try to get to know them a little bit more. Um, but maybe now is just not the right time for you guys to come together. All right. You do have the strength card here. So, yeah, you just, you don't, feel, you're not open to the idea of this situation. But you just don't see yourself really working on the situation as well. There could be a fire sign that you're interested in that you want to actually go towards and, you know, learn about. Um, this is, you know, the page, so it could be someone that's younger than you, someone that, you know, knows how to take action or is actually, you know, learning how to take action. Um, but they're not a knight of wands yet. They're not someone that follows through, through with their actions. You know, they're, they're still, you know, learning how to take action and what they should be taking action towards and what they actually want and desire. You may see this person as very childish, someone that isn't really open-minded to like any situation. Maybe you don't see them as, you know, having anything to really offer you, so that's why you're rejecting them, you're not wanting to go towards them and you may be wanting to move towards someone else that may be better for you. All right? But Earth signs for the signs that I see: I see Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, and Aquarius. We also have Pisces and Cancer, Virgo, Leo, and Sagittarius. All right. So, for that being said, that's going to be your reading for today. Earth signs, or you know, that's going to be your earthly energy reading for today. Let's move on to. Let's move on to air signs, air signs, air signs, air signs. What do we got for air signs today? All right, so air signs, what do we got? What do we got? So here we go. Let's do one more shuffle, one more shuffle. Air energy today, air energy for today. All right, so it seems like you may be a bit unhappy with a connection that has that was really good, but you're starting to understand that this person isn't the lover that you thought they were. They're not someone that can be romantic and you know have a really good connection with you. There's someone that you know is just a connection. You're wanting romance. You're wanting you know that romantic connection. You're not wanting just two cups, you know, forming together, right? Obviously, this is like a twin flame connection, but you're not wanting a twin flame connection. You're not wanting someone that's going to 
help you learn lessons and teach you lessons. You're wanting someone that's going to be romantic and you're unhappy about this, all right? You're wanting someone that is actually going to be there for you and you know, show you what love is really about. Yeah, your twin flame can do that, but your twin flame is really here to teach you lessons. It's not necessarily here to um, show you what love is really like. Yeah, there. if you dealt with hard, like, love situations, it, then yeah, they can teach you about, you know, loving the right person, and, you know, the right person will come along, but you're wanting something a little bit more romantic, you know, you're not wanting just a dull connection, you're wanting a romantic connection, something that has a lot of passion in it, and obviously, there is some connection here where there's a little bit of passion or else you guys wouldn't have gotten together but either way you could be dealing with a gemini because there's strong gemini in both the two of cups and the lover's card in reverse you may see this person as a karmic as well someone that makes you very unhappy that you don't really want to be around but because this is in the upright that's kind of telling me that that for some of you it's going to be a karmic for others of you it's going to be a really good connection or at least a connection that's going to be good for you right but you're just unhappy you're unhappy you're unhappy today all right you, but you may be taking a leap of faith towards this person because they are your twin flame and you may be opening yourself up to a relationship or at least a marriage so you maybe you're thinking about getting married maybe you're thinking about marriage and that maybe you're unhappy you're like why hasn't this person proposed to me? Why hasn't this person, you know, asked me, you know, to commit to them? But you may take that leap of faith and ask them questions. Maybe you're asking them, like, do you really want this connection? Do you want to move further? What are we? Like, are we committed? Are we in a relationship? Like, what's going on here? Um, and you're really, you know, asking yourself questions. And... You are moving forward. You're taking some sort of leap of faith. Maybe you're telling this person, hey, um, it's either we get, stay commu committed or we get committed or I'm out because like, I, I want a relationship, someone that's going to love me, someone that's going to be romantic with me. Not, I don't want just you know a connection that has a little fun and you know that's it, right? You want something that is going to be more satisfying for you something that is going to be more beneficial for you all right so today you're going to be taking new leaps of faith maybe you're opening yourself up to new connections um maybe there's like a new way to you know do things or you're figuring figuring out a new way to do things either way you are going to be opening yourself up to new opportunities and you know you could also be celebrating something as well. But either way, with the three of pentacles being here, you it's all about contracts. Maybe you're signing a new contract. This could be a phone contract. This could be a house, uh, housing. And with the four of wands, I guess you know that does you know represent a house. So maybe you're taking a leap of faith, uh, check like seeing someone up on their offer for a house. Um, maybe you're into retailing or maybe you're selling a house and you see someone you know wants to take a leap of faith and that you know you have a really strong connection with but either way um, today looks really good for you besides the fact that you're unhappy um, so try to make yourself feel better you know try healing yourself and doing what's best for you but other than that other than that air signs uh, that's going to be it. I hope you guys resonate and enjoyed this reading. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. It really does help grow my channel, and I really do appreciate it. Namaste. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. And if you'd like to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, the links will be down in the description box below. If you want to check out any of the other videos on my channel, you can hit that channel button, and it'll take you to a whole bunch of videos on my channel. Other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.